Hi, it's uh, Stu from Project Marlin. Um, just a really quick video this week. Um, not really doing anything, but we're not doing anything on the truck. Um, I just want to talk about uh, how the channel's done um, since we started about two and a half, nearly three months ago. Uh, I want to tell you my plans for 2020. Um, and yeah, so I um, started the channel just to document really what I'm doing on the truck. Um, about two and a half months ago uh, in November, it's, it's uh, 4th of February today. Um, so as of this morning, we've got 51 subscribers and around about 1200 views. Uh, it might be slightly more than 1200 views. <clears throat> uh, that I think is, is absolutely amazing. I didn't expect to get 56 subscribers. Um, it was more just a, uh, something to do for myself um, I had some, uh, quite a bad year last year <clears throat> one thing or another and um, in a way the truck's been the truck has been and it still is um, sort of a bit of therapy uh, for me in a way it's um, something to think about something to keep me occupied it keeps my mind interested in things um, whether I can sustain one video a week um, I'm not really sure at the moment. I think when the bigger jobs start, it's going to become harder to make an interesting video or a vaguely interesting video uh, very quickly. Um, but my plans for 2020 uh, have changed a bit since the first videos. Um, I think in the second video, uh, or might be the third video, I was having a bit of a crisis saying, oh, I really want it ready for May uh, to take it to the local vintage rally. Um, I'm quite confident in myself that's not going to happen. Um, my original plan was to patch the cab, uh, cab floor. Looking at the cab, uh, the whole front end of the cab is in poor condition. It's not dangerous. Um, it's not dangerously weak, it's not dangerous, but it isn't great and it won't get better. So I've come to the conclusion that we're much better off forgetting about this year. If we're sorted in time to be able to get somewhere sometime this year, then great. Um, but we'll aim for uh, May 2021 uh, to be on the road and going. Uh, the cab, we're going to take the roof off. We're going to try and take the at least the front panels off so we can get to the framework uh, the windscreen is going to have to come out um, that absolutely terrifies me the idea of trying to get a windscreen that big out in one piece and uh, back in in one piece and what will happen if it doesn't come out in one piece um, that's going to be quite an expensive accident I think um, so we're going to work on the cab um, later on this month there's going to be a video where I'm going to take the covers off the air boxes on the engine and also take the intakes off the supercharger to have a look at see if there's any oil coming from the turbos whether there's any visible oil leaking in the superchargers um, because that will give me more confidence in um, getting the engine hot and running it under load um, for any period of time if any oil signs are there the turbos and the superchargers will have to be rebuilt which again won't be cheap um, but it's much cheaper than replacing the engine if the engine goes so there's going to be lots of work on the cab, um, including the cab is going to be sorting out a lot of the electrics. There's going to be looking at the engine a little bit. Hopefully there won't be too much in depth on the engine. I, I don't really want to pull it apart. Um, I'm trying to think. There's still some things with the brakes that need sorting. So we've got a brake master cylinder video that will be coming up. Um, I have done two master cylinders, um, but more learning to do them. Um, I wasn't videoing it at the time, but I've got another four to do. So we'll have a video about the master cylinders. I'm still trying to get parts for the flashing beacon for the front, uh, for the light bar. We're working on that at the moment. Um, there's there's air valve, more air valves that need sorting out. The handbrake calipers need sorting out. I actually broke my vice uh, in half while I was trying to do the first one. Um, we're looking at trying to get some workshop space at the moment, um, a bit closer to the truck so everything doesn't have to go home um, i'm also looking at moving house which means i probably won't have the same workshop space at home um, so um, 
Yeah, if we can get this workshop space, um, a friend of mine who's got a project uh, car that he's been intending to start for a few years, um, he wants to come in on the workshop with me if we can get it sorted out. So uh, there will be videos about his project on his car on the channel. I've got a couple of other small projects I want to do, and I'm sure there'll be a bit more variety than there is currently. Uh, rather than just the fire truck, uh, we'll stay as Project Marlin because that's what we started as. Um, but Project Marlin will become, uh, or the Marlin will become one string of of the main main channel. The channel will grow um, on that side of things. Uh, talking about channel and growing, um, <laughs> had great fun. One of the reasons this is the only video you're getting this week uh, from me is because uh, the day that I normally do most of my sorting out, we actually had a visitor come down from another YouTube channel. Uh, first time I've got to collaborate with another YouTuber. Um, I, it's brilliant because he's he's one of the people I was watching before I bought this truck. Um, I won't go into too much detail about it, but we had real fun watching the video and hopefully that'll be out in the next couple of weeks. And as soon as it is, I'll put a link to it uh, from one of my videos. And I'll also put um, a link to it on the, the project Facebook page and probably an Instagram page because I'm really, really pleased that we've been able to do this. Um, I just want to thank a few people uh, before I quickly wrap the video up. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Roger, who's a gentleman who was involved or who designed the chassis and the running gear for the truck, uh, for taking the time to speak to me and uh, give me some information on the truck that I didn't know and also the history of the companies that made the truck. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank, thank Mark from ARFF Vehicle Support Limited. Um, he's given me a lot of technical information help, or a lot of he's given me help on technical information, especially for the air systems where I've been having trouble there. His help's been invaluable. Uh, couldn't have got this far anywhere near as easily without his help. Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank Jessica from ESG, um, who has been helping me find um, parts for the front bar beacon. And I think over the last week or two, I've driven mad, but we've got that sorted now. So uh, thank you very much to all of you. Uh, and last but not least, I need to thank all of you for watching the videos um, and keep coming back and watching the videos again. Um, <clears throat> I'm watching the new videos. It's been, been brilliant. I didn't expect this sort of response, really. Um, but if you haven't already clicked like on this video, please do. Um, it helps me a lot, um, surprisingly. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and uh, hopefully we'll have a much more interesting video uh, next time. And I'll see you all again soon. Cheerio.